Hey everybody, I'm back with another retro unboxing, and I figured I might as well stick with um, the uh, Princess Dolls of the World, and this is the third one. I don't know what order they came in. Uh, this is the Princess of China, but if you look at the back, it shows all three. Two of the girls that we've already shown on this channel um, together. So my thoughts is they came out in sets of threes. I don't know how many there were. <laughs> Maybe somebody could comment below and let me know how many there were. Uh, but we do have more to unbox on this channel. Um, sorry, my focus got off there. Uh, yeah, so um, these were um, made by Barbie somewhere between 2001 and 2002. Uh, if you hear banging in the noise, banging noise in the background, it's plays playing in the bag again. Um, so on the back we have here, so get ready, here's my little story. You can skip this if you want, but it's a little bit of a uh, history here, a little history lesson. <laughs> um, Princess of China, Princess of China Barbie doll, and there's a little bit of artwork, and it says, long ago in a corner of Asia, a mighty empire ruled for almost 300 years. Orderly and wealthy, the Qing Dynasty was the strongest and most glorious, but the last of all the dynasties that ruled China from Peking, now called Beijing. Here is a beautiful Asian woman with silky black hair and dark eyes, the daughter of the emperor, the absolute ruler believed to be the son of heaven. She lives in the forbidden city, a magnificent gated maze of halls and palaces protected by the great red wall. Inside, many things are yellow, the symbol of the royal family. The roofs are made of yellow glazed tiles, Decorations in the palace are yellow. Beauty is everywhere. There are gold pingatas, ping, pingatas, small ordinate buildings, decorated in ivy and jade, and painted and paintings of dragons, the royal symbol of wealth, wisdom, and power. The city is vibrant with busy, creative people. The astronomers and philosophers. Printmakers and merchants, artists, are very important and admire, admired. They create calligraphy. Uh, I know how to say this word, but I can't say it. <laughs> calligraphy. The art of fine writing. Painting and delicate porcelain of pure white paint. Painted with floral, with pretty floral designs, called Femel Verte in green shades or Femel Rose in rosy shades. A pastime of the common people and the lovely princess of Jingzhu. Jingzhu? Jingju. Uh, I, I might have butchered all of that. Or Peking Opera. With great joy, she watches the stage as the performers use music, mime, and brilliant costumes to tell fantastic stories. Their faces are painted to portray supernatural beings, spirits, and other wonderful characters. Princess of China Barbie doll is as beautiful as exotic as her exotic country. She wears a traditional gown of the King era, the silky pink material has a lotus design, a symbol of purity. Pink flowers decorate her dark black hair which is combined, uh, which is combed up in a traditional Chinese style. Befitting her royal rank, the golden crown is inspired by one of the wife 
of the last emperor. Han Ting. Yeah, I'm not much on my China, so forgive my ignorance in pronouncing some of these words. I, I tried. I could have just skipped over, but I, tr I did generally try. <laughs> Here's some artwork of the dancers. And then there's a picture of the girl looking out her window at some stuff. And here's Blaze's head. Hey, Blaze. Blaze. Kitten. Cut on. What are you doing? What do you do when you got your nose? You got into something, huh? All right, I'm going to go ahead and open her up, and then I will show you what she looks like outside of her box. I see some really cool earrings. And um, here is her official certificate that proves that she's the uh, Princess of China Barbie doll that's from the um, Doll of World, Doll of the World's Princess Collection. So that's pretty cool that it comes with one. They all seem to. Um, this one was labeled 19.99 from Walmart, so that verified the price check that somebody had already mentioned. So let's uh, go ahead and get her out. Before I get her out, I did want to let you guys uh, check out the background of her inside of her box, which is really, really nice. A nice little added detail that didn't need to be there. And I noticed that her shoes are already on her. The other two girls that we've opened up from this series of this collection, um, the shoes were in a bag and then put on. So um, she has some really awesome stilt shoes. Oh my gosh, they're really a th Oh my gosh, I can't wait to get her out of her box. Okay, before, I'm going to start with the bottom of her. Like, I'm going to start start with her shoes. Okay, so they are on, um, like, the velvety material. I'd say velvet or, yeah, a velvet material. And you guys can see the stilts. These are actual, genuine, like, Chinese, old-fashioned stilt shoes. I don't know if they still wear them in China right now. I think they do. But, um... And then her outfit is definitely is silk. So it's printed silk and it's absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to show you guys. Okay. So we'll start from the bottom and move our way up. You can see the dragons in there and the flowers. Actually I think it's mostly flowers, but you can they look like it looked like done in dragon designs, but there's blues and golds and oranges. And then it's done on uh, like a, um, a fuchsia colored dress. And you can see the stripes and the sleeves. And um, it doesn't look like... Am I missing a belt or something here? No, I think it's just pinned. No, it's... Okay, so it has the, the, the snap there on the side that keeps it in. Um, and the snap is covered with like a, a butterfly thing. But check out her hair, guys. Oh my god. Alright. So it looks like it's um, done up in like this floral... The shoes match the top. It's like that... It's a velvety material um, floral piece that has a crown on it that holds her hair up high into a bun. I, I don't even know what to say. Look at her beautiful face. Okay. She's got like a palish tannish color face with um, a light brown eyebrow that's actually got the detail paint into in the detail. Let's see if I can get a close-up of her face without it blurring out. Let's see here. So you guys can take a look for yourself. Come on. There she is. She's got brown eyes, paints it on eyelashes, and she's got like um like a rose red lips. But look at that face sculpt. Look how gorgeous she is. And also... To top it off, she's got some really cool gold earrings. Um, I don't know what the symbol is on them. But they're actually dangles. They're dangles. Then they match her crown. Her, her crown has like the lotus blossom gold on it. Um, just like all the rest of them. And look at the cheek blush on her. Gorgeous. And just like all the other ones. Let me just get her on her stand. So just like the other ones, um, her head goes back and forth and side to side 
like a regular Barbie. Uh, no articulation in the elbows or the wrists, but her arms go up and down like that, and then um, they go out to the side like that. Uh, no wrist, I mean, no waist um, swivel or anything. And then her um, her legs, she can make her sit or stand. And then she has the um, the clickable uh, knee joints. So you can um, pose her knee joints that way. Um, other than that, um, I really, really love her. She is a stunner. I just, the face sculpt and the painting on her face, she's just so, 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 so pretty. Um, so... This doll just really represents where it's coming from. Totally perfect. Uh, Mattel, what happened to you? We want more of this. More of this stuff. Alright. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.